We will see a full walkthrough video tour of this J-Flight in just a moment, but first, I wanted to introduce you to the fact that this is a member of a limited run series of farmhouse flights now available here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is something they did to only three floor plans. And I think what they're doing is they're kind of testing, will a J flight owner be interested in the farmhouse decor? So here's a look at the farmhouse. Then after this, we're going to see a standard run with the traditional wood tones. And uh, what we really need here, ladies and gentlemen, is your feedback. If you'd like to see more of these available in the farmhouse decor, then leave us a little note and let us know. If uh, you prefer the look of the standard edition, then let us know that too. Uh, but the fact is, the 28 BHS, 24 RBS, and 34 RSBS will all be available here at Halo RV, at least for a limited time, in the farmhouse uh, skin system. And just like you see in Eagle and Feather in North Point, you've got the uh, light, bright kitchen with those sort of uh, antiqued accents. Whereas your entertainment center and, and like your living area, some of those things have this more burnished kind of dark brown accent. And that's one of the things I think is going to make this work even here in a bunkhouse. A lot of times when people see the farmhouse thing, they think, no, 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 it's too white. It's too white for the kids. But the areas where the kids are going to be, they're really no different than a traditional J flight. All you're doing is lightening and brightening up the look of this thing. And I think that a lot of people are really going to uh, feel that it looks and feels larger, a little more lush, a little more modern. Now there's absolutely no equipment variants from farmhouse to standard flights. It is literally just a different interior decor. So like I said, leave us a note, let us know what you like, and uh, without any further nonsense, here is a full walkthrough video tour of a 28 BHS J flight like we're looking at here. Just high or just shy of the 7,000 pound mark, depending on the options and upgrades present, this is a 28 BHS Super Slide bunkhouse with great travel accessibility and a camp kitchen here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now everybody and their brother builds a layout like this nowadays in travel trailers, and for good reason. It's an awesome, awesome layout. That's not a condemnation of anyone. But one of the things a lot of brands have not done well is considered how the RV operates with the slide closed. Jayco is not one of the brands that failed to consider that. If you notice the location of their doors, their drawers, their fridge, all that stuff, this RV, the only thing you lose access to in transit, technically, would be that uh, little drawer down there on the dinette. However, if you absolutely had to, you could always take the cushion top off of that and access that from the top down. Now, obviously, you're not going to walk into the bathroom with the, or pardon me, the bedroom with the slide closed currently. The bathroom's easy to access. That's right next to me, behind me, and the slide does not interfere with it. But with a second entry door, you can always just walk inside the bedroom directly. So whether you just want to walk in and grab a jacket, or if you do need to stop and rub the sleep out of your eyes, the second door here, which does have a deadbolt for security and privacy, by the way, can absolutely give you full access to the RV. The, the bedroom's, again, the thing that a lot of brands fail to consider when uh, you know building a layout like this with a slide that blocks the bedroom door. The second door here makes all the difference. You might have noticed that Platinum Exterior Skin update. That's a good indicator as to which generation you look at because the, the full interior, like all the woodworks and everything, were all given a complete facelift and makeover as well. Now the good news is the uh, the full J-Flights here, it's not like they needed a lot of help. They just kind of gave it a fresh coat of paint, brand new look, same great taste as it would say on the, uh, you know, the package of your favorite snacks or pop or soda or Coke or whatever you call it where you're from. Anyway, so uh, what are we looking at here? Well, you have the ability to outfit this with a larger 15,000 B2 air conditioner, which is basically what we're going to do 10 times out of 10 here at Halo RV if we have a choice, as well as that optional kitchen skylight with a draw shade. It just lets more light in here, and it makes the whole thing look and feel more open. Now, things like that huge pass-through door into the bedroom, which does slide close for privacy, and those massive windows there that all open for airflow and have blackout shades that we'll see as we go through, those are also nice features. But uh, one of the things they did here is they gave us a true U-dinette, which can fold down into a large bed, but you see it has a free-floating table and easy access to the storage below. What's cool about setups like this you don't have to tear apart the whole dinette to get to the storage, and if you did, the table gets out of the way more easily. Now that's an elliptical base. You'll use that when you fold it down into a sleeping area, but it can also fold down and act as something of a coffee table in front of the sofa, in front of the TV. 
kind of a handy thing there. Now they leave you a wide open area under that sink right there, which is just perfect if you want to uh, add some big waste baskets or something like that. So you don't have to strap a bunch of Walmart bags to your cabinetry because who wants to do that, you know? Being a full six foot nine interior height, a little taller than the average bear, it allows them to throw some shelves in the overhead cabinets to really maximize the storage. Another thing J flights are good for is more lights. They put more lights per square foot in here than most brands in this class and category. And going to that flush mount stove and the uh, recessed sink inside that sealed edge countertop, it gives it uh, just awesome prep space. It's very, very easy to reach. And this corner over here with that set of household outlets is very appliance friendly, ideal for things like, uh, you know, coffee makers, whatnot. That is a high rise uh, uh, metallic sprayer faucet, by the way. And I like how they give you the combination of sink cover plus roll away drying rack for when you're done with your dishes. Now they also give us plywood drawers down to the floors here in these J flights. And they are wide drawers with tons of space in them. Now as we go past the uh, 8 cubic foot gas electric dual source fridge freezer here, we see that if we flip the TV out of the way, we've got a little bit of pantry tamer storage. And actually what's interesting is the uh, main pantry is located around the entertainment center. So this is just a big chunk of open storage, which is great. But they leave you a shelf here to expand your entertainment. One of the things they do, you see that little wire jumper right there? If you want to go, uh, put a little satellite system into this, it is prepped to do that. Although over here on your Bluetooth DVD player, it has HDMI plugs right on the front. So if you want to add like a Roku stick or something, it's perfect for that use as well. But this is what I was saying. Your main pantry is actually below the, uh, the entertainment area. The shelves on the left-hand side can be removed. If you wanted to add another hanging bar to make it a double closet, you could. But I, I think this is a really smart mix, the way that they put this together. And it's down low right next to the bunks, right next to where the kids are going to want to get to it. So if you tell the kids in the morning, get out of bed, get dressed, everything is kind of locally, uh, uh, you know, situated to them. Crown molding is a nice touch in here, too. It's just just good looking, nice feature. All of our command center buttons are all hidden up uh, here away from the little kid fingers. And this is what I call why not storage. They had just an extra pocket and they said, why waste it? Why not do something with it? Kind of like the little entry area shoe garage down there under the closet right by the door. Passing through into that like extra wide uh, sort of like barn door style entry into our master bedroom here. You see that this comes with a bracket for the uh, bedroom TV hookups. Uh, this bracket is the exact same bracket that you'll find outside the RV. It's a simple little quick release system. So if you choose to add a uh, second TV to your RV, it can float inside and outside very, very easily. Now, um, the, uh, you know, you got full hanging closets and a full overhead cabinet, but with this being a little bit taller, it shouldn't be a head bonker, anything like that. And these tall windows have become more common in the bedrooms of travel trailers. But not all of them open for airflow the way Jayco's does here. Now, both sides of the bed have household outlets. And you can see over here, you've got uh, a couple different varieties of 12-volt plugs. So things like phone chargers are always going to be set to go here. One of the other qualities that is really stand out here is that this is a conventionally constructed trailer with a 60 by 80 queen bed. A true queen bed. Nearly all wood skeleton travel trailers have a short camp queen that you will not find here uh, in a J flight. Additionally, it is on a plywood deck that is one hand, easy lift capable, and I mean you've just got a, a monster storage cavity waiting for you in here. Flipping around the other direction here, uh, you can see how that TV, it, it swings out, we already talked about the storage, but whether you're in the uh, dining area or the sofa, um, I mean, if you're over here on half of the bed, frankly, you can get a really good shot at that screen. So it's, an, uh, it's a very easy viewing scenario. Now, note that we have slide side windows. That is a thing that not all brands do. That's kind of the thing, like I've pointed out a lot of cool things. Some of these are sort of found in the Catalinas that we carry, some sort of in the Cherokees, some sort of in the Wildwoods that we carry here at Halid RV. But that's kind of the identity of a J flight. They don't do some of the things. J Flight does all of the things, which is why it is a little heavier and why it typically runs a couple bucks more. There's just more to it. As mentioned, you've got like virtual blackout shades here. 
Good for keeping heat out of the RV as well as uh, nosy neighbors. You know, good for blocking the sunshine or miss sunshine. And that hide a bed sleeper sofa upgrade there gives you a larger adult size guest sleeper in addition to what I referred to earlier as the true U dinette. It folds down into like a seven foot bed that I think is like 44 inches deep or something like that. If you had to, what's cool about this floor plan, this is a bunk model that doesn't just sleep kids. It can sleep extra adults. Another neat little thing you can do here. I mentioned how that table's free floating. Pop it out of there and this suddenly just becomes a cool, like, conversation lounge. A neat little adult kind of chit chat lounge or place where, you know, you could kind of throw kids toys and they could sort of play around over here while mom and dad enjoy the, what is now, a coffee table directly across from the entertainment center. This is going to be handy not on daily use, but uh, for like rainy day situations, that's when you're going to like this arrangement. Now it's a bunkhouse, and <laughs> I probably should have looked at these sooner, but it occurs to me the last thing we've really looked at is basically the bunks. Now, a cool thing with Jayco's, their bunks are rated for minimum 300 pounds per sleeping space. This is a double bunk. This is a 600 pound rated bunk up here. Notice that all, like each bunk gets its own light, its own power outlets, its own breeze window, and its own separate curtain. So uh, the kids aren't fighting one another for curtain space here, for curtain control, because when they start doing that, nobody wins. I also like how they use the open air ladder wall right here, because it makes the RV look and feel a lot larger as a result. I also like the folding lower bunk, because it creates either a really awesome cargo space. You could back a little bike in there with the slide clothes. Frankly, if you put a kayak down there, you could load a kayak like lengthwise uh, in front of this entertainment center right here. Maybe two. It obviously, just depends on the size and how they fit and whatnot. But there's, I mean, there's a ton of stuff that you can do with a handy little feature like that. The mattress actually folds in. Another note on the mattresses: check the thicknesses on these. Jayco's mattresses, on average, and their bunks are about twice as thick as normal. And just like under the master bed. You've got plywood construction going on here. That's part of the reason they have higher weight ratings. Another neat little thing, this bathroom door locks. I think every single parent has had uh, privacy issues with the kiddos just bursting into the bathroom. It is just nice to have a little bit of peace of mind that when you're walking out of the shower, your son or your daughter isn't going to bust in on you in your birthday suit. Never forget the day my two or three year old did that to me. I was just, I was. I was standing with one foot in the shower and one foot out, the worst possible position to get caught in all my glory. And in she walks and she just goes, hey dad, like nothing was wrong. And I'm like, hey kiddo, like nothing was wrong and grabbed a towel. But enough about my life. <laughs> one of the things I like about this thing, it has a huge shower and it's not just taller. Um, if you look down here, I mean, look at the size of this. This is a massive, shower pan. So if you need to help bathe one of the kids, if you need to hose down a dog, you could do all of that in here. You might have also noticed that a uh, little blue night light above next to the power vent fan between the skylight there, it will make all the light colored surfaces, of which there are a lot in here, glow at night for uh, easier viewing. Now, you see you've got a porcelain foot flush stool right there, and I like how they corner mount both the sink and the medicine cabinet so that you can actually stand in the bathroom to use them and not halfway out. They're not just flat glued against the wall. Now there's a really cool thing that J-Flight does here. Because if you look at them, they've got a six foot nine interior, but they're not like extra tall in comparison to a lot of other things. And you're like, wait a minute, how, how'd they pull that off? It all resides on a custom engineered chassis. They actually have a fully integrated A-frame here. So what J-Flights have is not a taller ceiling per se. That's actually a side effect of a lower floor, which is one of those really cool Bob Vila kind of build tricks, I think. That is one of the other things that helps uh, contribute to that two plus three best in class warranty there. And I gotta say, J-Flights have always been white. That's always been their thing. You know, white with some kind of red or tan or brown or whatever. But this platinum flight that we're looking at right here, it looks, it feels right. It feels like it was time for a change. 
and I think that they, they accomplished it well. Now, all the windows are heavily tinted to keep out uh, extra sunshine, and the, the you pull down the blackout shades and you'll really knock the sunshine out, help keep it cooler inside. Also keeps the neighbors out, so you don't feel quite so observed the whole time. You may have also noticed, again, all the windows do open for airflow. One of the available options on these J-Flights is their thermal package. It begins with an enclosed and heated underbelly. That is where most brands stop. J-Flight then adds layers of insulation and a radiant barrier, plus they uh, bulk up the insulation and the roofing to give this a best-in-class insulation package. There's plenty of other good RVs out there, but there is no other uh, you know, stick and tin series of trailer that has this level of protection. I've actually encouraged Jayco to cold chamber and test the capacities of this because uh, I believe it might be zero degree functional, but it's never been tested and proven. So hopefully that's something that they do. Above the wheel wells, you'll also find uh, a galvanized steel shield. God forbid you have a blowout of that Goodyear radial, you're gonna want that extra protection. See smart things too, like a black tank flush and a full outside utility shower. It's those extra handy features that you're going to use pretty much every single time you go camping. You may not think about stuff like that if you're a first time RV owner. You might not, you know, you wouldn't put that on your list as here's something I gotta have. First time RV owner tends to say, I need bunks or no bunks, I wanna slide, no slide, you know, and those are important critical factors, of course. But things like a black flush, an outside shower, you're gonna use that every day. As a person who camps, trust me, you will use it pretty much every day. Uh, now back here, we have reverse travel lighting built into those tail lights, which is handy whether you have a spotter or you're utilizing the backup camera prep. Now down here, you see a two inch receiver hitch. This is an optional piece of equipment we like to add to our J-Flights, whether it's a bunk model or not, because I don't care if it's a bunk model or not. A lot of people like to put things like bike racks or small generator trays or cargo trays or something like that on their RV. Having a built-in factory installed and factory warranted receiver hitch right there allows you to do those things without any sort of messy complications when it comes to your warranty coverage. And they put a pretty generously sized awning on this thing. Leaves you plenty of room for your picnic tables. And note that it clearly covers the uh, camp kitchenette over here. And this is a small but really intensely feature packed camp kitchen. Jayco uses to great success. You got the little college kid dorm fridge over there which bumps us up to about 10 cubic foot of total cold storage. And now this is on a gas strut system. So if you bump it, it's not gonna go flying shut and you know knock stuff off your burners or anything like that. And that is a real sink to a real drain into a holding tank, not the dog dish. Now another quick note on this awning. This is an easy tilt awning with just two fingers. It is just that simple. You see that you can give that thing a nice sort of uh, crank and you just grab it, push it back up. And even if you forget to push it back up by hand like that, the awning will sort itself out. You can crank it closed on an angle, it'll come back out flat every time. Pretty darn handy. Now you see the uh, wider 30 inch entry door right here. That gives us uh, you know, a little more easy come and go room. Very handy if we got a platter full of stuff in our hands. And as we go past that XL handle, I want to make mention uh, of why that wider door is important. Um, when we first ordered this trailer, Certain things were not available that are now available, such as those very nice more ride stable steps. That's something that after this, moving forward, you will see come in on these J-Flights. So this one happened to uh, come through before that was possible. Now, here's the cool part. Because this entry door is 30 inches wide, that means you could easily uh, put a set of more ride stable steps on there. Now you might notice this fellow over here in the background, that's Mr. Jody, he's doing some quality control for us. We proactively inspect every single RV before we put it out for sale or before we even uh, allow it off the RV delivery truck to make sure that we've got a good product out here. TV hookups above our best in class, Goodyear Endurance Radials right here. These are rated for 87 miles per hour at only 80 PSI. And that is the only American made tire used in the entirety of the towable RV industry. And it's things like that that allow Jayco to have, first of all, double the full RV warranty of anybody else, plus the three year structural coverage to give you all the peace of mind in the world. Now right next to us here, we've got our big pass-through compartment 
under that front master bed and you see it does go all the way under the bed now if you wanted to you could add a partition there some brands do it some brands don't it's nice that Jayco kind of gives you the choice and it's a very good place to be able to put the uh, uh, solar panel if you decide to use a side mount solar system which plugs right into the uh, tongue there where the blue sticker is located just behind the tongue jack now we've kind of touched on the J-Flight Thermal Package and how it has an enclosed uh, heated insulated underbelly. There's already radiant uh, barrier protection in the slide floors, but the Thermal Package also bulks up what's going on in the roof of this. Combine that with the white roof skin on here and the larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner that you can also add to one of these. And you got yourself something that's going to hold up pretty darn well in those hotter climates. Now, a uh, couple people have asked, like, yo, <laughs> what's a shark fin? That's your TV antenna there, by the way. Now, we are walking on plywood, not OSB. That's a Jayco thing. They call it their Magnum Truss Roof System. They're using a higher grade of roof decking and thicker roof trusses and some bigger nail plates to hold those trusses together. And in English, what that means is that this roof is rated for like somewhere between 4,000 to 5,000 pounds depending on which floor plan we're looking at. Average travel trailer in this class with a walkable roof is rated for about 2,800. Now don't get me wrong, I think 2,800 pounds is pretty good, but I've been around this industry a while. I've seen some crazy things where like trees have fallen on trailers and the uh, resistance that J flights have had, I'm not gonna tell you, it's not like the tree bounced off the roof. I'm not, no, 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 none of that. But what I'm saying is, we once had a customer who had a tree fall on a J flight bunkhouse, on the bunkhouse with their kid in it. Kid never got a scratch. I think maybe that heavier roof construction might have part of it. If you're in an area that gets really heavy snow loads, J flights might be a good brand for you to look at. And every one of these different RVs that you're seeing here as I pan around, every one of them is the best at something else. They're all good for different reasons. That's why they're all in the marketplace. But since 2005, nobody has matched the, the number of forever homes J flights have found. So if that sounds good to you, give us a call. Whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything between, we do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.